one can't move through the world as a black queer person and not be thinking of the history that's like led them there. Imagine how many times you, you've been with your friends to see a play, like a black play that's like important and we all need to see it because it's the black thing that we all need to see. And then everyone walks out, they're like, that was, yeah. That was okay. You know, that was deeply okay. And I was like, I'm just happy that I made a piece of black work that's not deeply okay. It's either deeply or deeply cool. And like, that's what I want, you know? Even with a play like Slave Play, there were so many people who immediately wrote or hoped for its failure instead of like hoping or rooting for its success. Even if it is obvious that that work is inspiring conversation and reshaping perceived narratives, there should be a sense that this is the thing that we should drive towards, especially if it feels unfamiliar. There is a moment of self-actualization for every human but the moment of black self-actualization has not been seen, or isn't seen as often. And I wanted to have a series of plays at the very start of my career that modeled for me what that self-actualization could look like and did look like when I did finally self-actualize outside of the white institutions that I had been educated in and outside of the white society that had like shaped me. That was in a production of High Fair Lady, and then that was followed up by a production of Midsummer Night's Dream. That was where I really started to learn the ease by which I could navigate a certain level of theater. When you see a space that hasn't been filled, you just decide to fill it. I Googled black plays that had been on Broadway and didn't see a list, so I decided to make one. There are a lot of rules for how a body that looks like mine navigates the real world. Rules that I didn't see applied necessarily to like cohort who didn't look like me and didn't look like the women in the room and didn't look like a lot of other people that um, weren't historically power brokers in the American theater system. And I decided very early on that if someone was going to ask me to shrink myself or to like dull my light, then they were going to have to explain to me why they didn't ask other people to do the same thing. Life is too short to actually give a f in a way, you know what I mean? Like, I think that sounds like kind of crass and annoying, but I think that like the only power that any of us have is like the power of honesty and the ability to say like, no to certain things. One of the things that I like to say no to is the notion that I have to be polite by other people's standards. <laughs>